special thank you to all of our channel members. Click join below to be a part of the family of the seas. All right, so we just got back from Catalina Island, getting ready to try Shaq's Big Chicken now. I'm excited. And uh, yeah, very excited, because who, who knows how this one's gonna go, you know? Who knows? We've heard good things about it, and it's, uh, it's looking pretty good over there, so. Hey, first thing that we're gonna I'm eat all day. I think I'm gonna try the Uncle Jerome. The Uncle Jerome, okay, hey. Sounds good, I don't know what I'm gonna get. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, I will say that if you guys are gonna be going to Catalina using the um, the tender ports, using the uh, the little boats, make sure that you guys stay on the bottom. If you have a choice to go to the top or the bottom of the boat, definitely go to the bottom because you get off quicker. They unload faster. We had to wait like 10 minutes for the people on bottom to get off before we could start at the top. So just a little tip to help you get off a little bit quicker, but it's time for shacks. Here we go. All right, guys, we got it. Jack's chicken. First impressions? Fries are good. Very Fries good. are really good. Let's see about the, uh, the chicken tenders. Real quick, I did it in the barbecue. Same thing? Okay. Yeah. 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 Is it good? Mm -hmm. Wow. Spicy pickles are bomb. Alright, spicy pickles are bomb. Yeah. Chicken is good. Fries are good. I got an Uncle Jerome, which I guess that's uh, the chicken's in like some hot oil or something. I don't know. They dipped it in. Um, they have some potato salad and the pickles and Ooh, see if it's good. Shaq's Big Chicken was amazing and after that, it was time for a knockout tournament, so I went upstairs to the basketball court. I got warmed up a little bit, made sure the shot was on point, and I'm ready to go. And then it was time for the knockout tournament to start. Now, once it started, I was pretty confident uh, in the beginning, but I, I don't know. Something happened about halfway through, and, and the guy behind me made it incredibly quick and ended up getting me out. So, maybe next time I'll be able to win the knockout tournament and uh, bring home that coveted first place trophy. And then after that, we went down to the Red Frog Pub and we went and saw karaoke, got some drinks in. Because we knew, hey, dinner's about to start. We might as well go uh, go see what the sights are. And the Red Frog Pub, it was nice down there. Hello, Gabby. Hello. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. So we uh, came back onto the ship after going to Catalina and uh, took a quick nap until about 3 o'clock. Quick and easy. Um, we went and we sat at the bar for a bit. We just got a couple of drinks, chatted, you know, hung out. Um, walked around the ship a little bit, Rome did a basketball tournament, so that was fun, or knockout, knockout tournament, yeah. So that was fun to watch. Um, we hit the casino for a bit, just, you know, some blackjack and slots, and we were just hanging out, we were just having fun, so we got ready and now we're here. Yeah, and uh, it's formal night, so how are you guys, how are you guys feeling right now? Gabby, you look, you look great right now, you look great. <laughs> oh yeah. I I definitely outdid what I normally do on, on formal night, I think. And this is definitely outside of my comfort zone, but I think it looks really nice. So. Oh, yeah. You look great. You guys let her know in the comments below. Oh, yeah. Do, do a quick spin for him. Let, let, let him know. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. They see you. They see you. <laughs> I don't normally wear things like this, so this is fun. Oh, yeah. And tonight, we will not be falling asleep before the club. No, we absolutely will, not. <laughs> we will be making sure that we make it this time. That way we can see how uh, how it's going to be. So I think it'll be good. They have a 70s, 80s thing first, um, and then the nightclub hits. But they also have a, deck, a party on the Lido deck. So lots of things going on for tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. This is what I'm rocking. Just a basic floral t-shirt. Nothing nothing crazy. So. You look great. Thank you. Thank you very much. But yeah, it's, uh, it's been a fun day. So we just hung out, went to the casino a little bit, you know, chilled, did a knockout tournament, and now we're here at, uh, at dinner. So we'll let you guys know how formal night goes and everything. So see you in a bit. All right, so just got the appetizers. I got some more shrimp cocktail, even though they are literally smaller than my pinky. Um, I got the calamari this time. Gonna be trying that out. And Gabby, you got the Caesar salad and what is that? Crawfish fettuccine. Crawfish fettuccine. And this is a bellini. Okay. Okay. So yeah, it's fine. All right, what, what what'd you get over here? Caesar salad and the calamari. That is that. And I'm still waiting. 
I, it, li I like it. It's like the wine that we like. It's a sparkling wine. Okay. I'm just peach is a little hit or miss for me sometimes. But okay. Good. Nice, nice. Love to hear it. Oh, you're good. So the, the lovely couple that just passed us just now, they actually uh, said that they recognized us. They were like, we didn't want to interrupt. Sorry about that. But yeah, they recognized us from YouTube. So that's our uh, it's our first time getting recognized from YouTube. How, how do you feel about that, Gabby? I feel shy. I feel like I immediately got red. I was like, oh my god. Delini on the way, one more. All right, thank you, thank you. Man. Now that was pretty cool though, you know, having somebody just come up and they're like, oh, we don't want to stare, we don't want to, you know, it's like, <laughs> it's cool, you know? that's pretty awesome though, it's pretty cool. But yeah, now it's time to dive into these, uh, into these appetizers. It's the perks of being 50, you get the bigger glass. <laughs> All right, so just finished our appetizers. Yeah, the Bellini is out. She has I finished. I could share a oh little gosh. bit. The perks of being a daughter. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you feel about the appetizers? It was super good. What was? The salad. So the salad was okay. It was super salad. Super salad. Okay, what would you give it out of 10? Like a six and a half. Okay. Fine. Okay. okay. I'd, I'd go five. Okay. I mean, it was just a see-through salad. There was nothing spectacular. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Um, the other one I ordered was Ooh. I know. Mmm. Okay. So I got the Caesar salad and the crawfish fettuccine. Okay. The crawfish fettuccine was so good. They had it in both the appetizer and the main entree. Okay. Um, but I just wanted a little, I just want to try it. There okay. Are other I to try. So good. I know I said it about the. Uh, yes, please. So, what would you give it out of 10? Um. I used to. The crawfish. Yeah, yeah, the crawfish. Um, it was phenomenal. I would definitely give the crawfish that it should be. Probably eight and a half, eight or eight and a half out of ten. We okay. We definitely put a little bit of salt and pepper on it, but that's just a personal preference. It was great without the salt and pepper. Okay. Um, so I, I really enjoyed my entrees. She got the calamari too, so I had a little bit of that. Not a fan of the sauce that came with the calamari, but the calamari itself was pretty good. Okay, all right, so the appetizer is pretty good. Now we got the entrees pulled up, so you got the prime rib. And then the shrimp and fish cheese. Uh, Rice cake? I don't know. Okay, okay. And then uh, we got a prime rib over prime here rib as well. Oh, yes, thank you. And then right here, I got the surf and turf. So just as like a hand comparison to see how big the lobster is. Now, in my, in my opinion, right, the Royal Caribbean lobster, it was about from the tip of my middle finger to my wrist. This one, about half the size. So I will say, uh, no, I'm good. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, so the, yeah, the shrimp, this uh, or this lobster is about half the size it looks like of uh, of the Royal Caribbean one. But this is also the one that you pay for. So this was the twenty three dollars surf and turf, um, and yeah, and here is the here's the turf. So let's go ahead and uh, dive into it. All right, what is up, everyone? So you guys know that I got the surf and turf. So you guys know that every single cruise, I have to try the lobster. I got to be able to see, you know, I got to compare them, you know, compare it to Royal, compare it to the other carnival ships, you know, see how things go. On the Miracle, uh, it was very tough, the lobster tail that I got. Um, this one was very, very easy to eat. It wasn't tough at all, but I will say the size of it was the smallest one out of all three ships so far, between Wonder, uh, the Miracle, and this. The size was very, very small, but it was good. Um, the butter was wasn't warm at all, which is like, I don't know how melted butter isn't warm, but it wasn't warm at all. Um, but yeah, and actually the uh, the turf wasn't wasn't that bad. And you guys know the last time on the Miracle, they pretty much gave me like a rare, <laughs> a rare turf when I said medium well. This time they actually did medium well, so like that's that's really good. So I'm really impressed with, with that. It was actually really good. Um, the french fries, yet again, no salt on them, no anything. Why do they not just get guys burgers fries and serve them in the main dining room? Or shacks. No. Everyone likes shacks and guys burgers fries. Why are they giving us these plain, simple strips with no... I don't know. Anyway. 
Um, and then the mashed potatoes I haven't tried yet, but those are mashed potatoes. So. Any dessert for you? Uh, no, no, we're good. Okay, Thank you very much. Sure. Only came, yeah. yeah. But uh, things have been actually really good, so I'm actually really impressed with the serving turf overall. Um, it was it was really really good, so definitely uh, definitely would give the serving turf on this one probably a five and a half. Um, main the main reason is because of, like the size of the. I mean, you guys can like see what it came in like like it's you know just kind of small so I would give it a five and a half it was good I just wish it would have been bigger and I might have given it like a seven or eight but yeah it is what it is definitely happy with how the how the turf cooked and now uh now I'm, I'm good to go I'm pretty happy and pretty satisfied about about dinner what, what about you um I feel pretty good about it wait um, do it again I feel pretty good about dinner um I think what did I want <laughs> Well, I don't remember the name. <laughs> oh, okay. Bellini. I remember. I remember. <laughs> okay. I feel pretty good about dinner. Um, I ordered the prime rib, which was very good. Um, it came with a baked potato and some green beans. So green beans were a little cold, a little bland. Fine, whatever. They're green beans. The potato, it was cooked really well, but they give you size or options of size. And the bacon was super chewy, or at least the bacon that I got was really chewy. So I just stayed away from the bacon, but the potato itself was cooked well. Okay. The prime rib was cooked really well, in my opinion. Loved the au jus sauce. It was super good, really tasty. They gave us cra fresh cracked pepper on it, which I think just top topped it off for me. I really like pepper on my food. Okay. Um, and then the other one that I got was a shrimp and fish crab cake. Or fish cake, mm -hmm. um, but like separate, so it was a fish cake and then some shrimps. It was fine. It was fine. It was just fine. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say about it. It was a little bit bland. Like they had some flavor with the with the fish cake, but it was fine. Um, I wasn't a fan of the sauce that the shrimp came in, so I just decided not to eat it because it was soaked in it. But it was okay. Fine. Uh, I'll have another one. Thank you. Yeah, Bellini, please. Thank you. Y'all heard her, right? Another one. She, she, we ain't even at the club yet. Already, she getting started. <laughs> but I thought my dinner overall was well, was pretty good. I actually opted to just stick with the uh, prime rib. I pushed my other plates aside. So okay. I really liked my prime rib. I thought it was, I don't know, probably like seven and a half. Okay. And I give the fish cake and shrimp probably like a five. Okay. All right. What What did you think about your dinner, Kim? I, I think you were more generous than I could have been with that fish cake. I, I, oh no, that was a that was a that was a, like a four, for me. maybe even a three something. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, but I will say that the prime rib really it was very good. It was very well done. Or, Cooked to perfection for what each of us like. Yeah. I do think they were cooked very well. I think they were. We all ordered separate temperatures. Or you know, well done, well done, medium well, whatever. Um, and they all came out to our liking, or at least something that we would eat in that range of what we wanted. So yep. that was not what happened on Miracle. So I'm, I am happy about that. Yeah. Yeah, because last time on the Miracle, I'm sure you guys remember our the, the steak that I got. It was literally gray. Like I don't know if you guys don't remember that video. I'll insert a little clip right here if you remember. It was gray. Pink, but then gray. Yeah, it's like gray. It's not even brown like it's supposed to be. Um, so I just cut that whole part out. Because if you guys can see how it looks in person, it's it's gray. Like I just had to cut it all out. It's not. It's not it. So definitely didn't see any gray uh, gray steak tonight. So. Uh, that's definitely a positive. So, uh, you know, overall, like if the lobster would have been better, my meal, you know, I would have given it a seven and eight. But it just it was pretty small. So, especially when you're paying for it, twenty three dollars for that small of a lobster, you know, it, it, you definitely expect a little bit bigger one. But either way, it was a good dinner. So, definitely not mad at this. It's been a pretty pretty solid dinner. And uh, now it's time to just get ready for get ready for the nightclub. We got a couple more hours before. That starts, I think it's like 70s and 80s night at the start of it, so. But there's also a deck party we can always check out. Yes, there is a deck party. So might skip the 70s and 80s hour and uh, come back once things, you know, get a little bit more modern. But we'll, you don't we'll, want we'll to see. get your disco on? Uh, mm, I'm good on the discos, but you know, we'll see. It's all good. We'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, what is up everyone? So we just got done with dinner and I know a lot of you guys are like, what did John Heal do? What is he gonna do 
for the couple of the seas. A lot of you guys put a lot of comments with a lot of thoughts of what you guys thought was gonna happen. Well, we just got back to our cabin, and let me just say that probably about 95% of y'all <laughs> was right. So what they did to put a smile on her face was they gave us the champagne that you guys uh, that you guys called, and they gave us the uh, the plate of chocolate covered strawberries. Ooh, and macarons. And macarons, macaroons. Macaroons. So, and then we also got this uh, this carnival uh, pendant, this like necklace thing. Um, so yeah, that's Cute. what that's what they did. So uh, thank you, John Heal, um, <laughs> for the for the strawberries and champagne. Uh, we appreciate the gesture. Called because, it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because they didn't have to do anything for us. Let's be real. They didn't have to do anything. So the fact that they even said that they were going to do something and ended up doing this, I mean... I I'll be know. honest. I was expecting it on the first night, but that's that was my own expectation. So yeah. I'm glad we got it anyways. Yeah, I'm glad that, that you know, some, some, something happened. So it, it's good that, uh, that you know, that they kept true to their word and they ended up doing something for us, which is awesome. So uh, shout out to Carnival. Uh, even though I said, man, this is a plate of strawberries. I'm going to be... You know, I'm going to have a smile. Hey, it's not just oh, a plate of strawberries. Exactly. It's not just strawberries. So I'll smile. We got yeah. a pendant. Oh, yeah. We got... We got champagne. We got champagne. See? Smile. See, there's a smile. So you promised to put a smile on her face, and here it is. So, you know, it is what it is, and um, yeah, now we're getting to uh, get ready for the club. Are you going to eat any of those? Um, well, I don't know. Yeah. I just had dinner, so. <laughs> yeah, who knows, but we'll probably try out the champagne, so see how that goes. At least it's cold, so who knows? We'll see. But anyway, that's what John Heald did for us, so thank you, Carnival. Thank you, Carnival. Uh, thank you, John Heald. And, uh... Yeah, we'll uh, we'll see you guys on the next carnival cruise and see uh, see if we'll be getting any any other strawberries and champagne on any other cruises. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, a lot of you guys are right, so thank you guys for commenting and leaving your guesses. Shout out all of you that guessed strawberries and champagne. Yeah, we thought that there was gonna that it was gonna be something else, but a lot of you guys are right. It's it's pretty standard for Carnival to just do the strawberries and champagne. You know, it's something I'll that, take it. Yeah, it's a it, gesture. It's a gesture, exactly. It's all about the gesture. So uh, definitely, definitely, uh, definitely feel good that they they followed through with the gesture. That's what I'm happy about. Like it's not really about what it is, it's just the fact that they remembered to actually do something. Right. That's exactly. Because I felt bad when I walked in and I was like, oh, there's nothing in the cabin. They didn't, <laughs> they didn't do anything. They forgot us. That's what I was thinking. But no, it all worked out. So uh, we're gonna be hitting the club in a little bit here, and uh, who knows, we might use the champagne to pregame. So there we'll we go. Goes. Yep, exactly. So thank you very much again, John Heald, and uh, subscribe to the channel. And I know we said we were gonna like shout out the people that were right, but literally like there's so many of you. Right. So, there's so many of you. Yeah. Uh, so it is what it is, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in a little bit.